Hi, I'm Paul Barry. Welcome to Media Bites. And warning, warning, there's another mutant on the loose. But our top story this morning is the mutant COVID strain called Omicron. The latest on the mutant strain running rampant across the globe. And if the media combines mutant and rampant, what do you get? Global panic. Australia and the world is waking up to a growing sense of panic this morning over the new COVID variant. We all panic at the news of a, a new a new variant. Should we not be panicking, Van? Should we be listening to the experts now? Yes, David, listen to the experts. And what do they say? Look, we certainly shouldn't panic. Panic is not the right word for now. Currently, there's no reason for panicking. But what's a pandemic without panic? Which is why the Daily Mail is serving up homepage screamers like Omicron spreads, Omicron effect, and Omicron break out. Yes, mutant variants are good for business. So too are big advertisers, which takes us to this bizarre moment on 7 News in Queensland. We'll catch up with our resident racing experts. Sorry about this, guys. Oh no, Seven's Nathan Sperling has forgotten to turn his phone off. And even worse, He's taking the call. Kind of in the middle of something, mate. What's going on, Simon? Simon is Seven reporter Simon Nichols. And guess what happens when he shows up? Did you want a McCafe, caramel, hazelnut or vanilla iced coffee? I'll take a caramel one. Thanks for that. Oh, hang on, you there? Yep, I'll grab a Big Mac too. Cheers. No worries, mate. No worries. Would you like fries with the nightly news? Anyway, guys, uh, sorry for that little uh, interruption. A little interruption? What others would call a big bloody ad featuring two real journalists on the real seven set selling coffee and burgers. Can you believe it? And Maccas have been running these sponsored segments in Seven's regional bulletins all over Queensland. I mean, they might as well change the Seven theme while they're at it. Now, we've seen ads seeping into news bulletins for years, but this doozy from Seven has to go down as the worst ever. No doubt Seven and Maccas will be pleased to hear it. But now to this real barbecue stopper. Well, Labor leaders Daniel Andrews and Anthony Albanese are copping a grilling on social media over a photo of the pair cooking up steaks at a barbecue. Oh, barbecue gate. So what's the beef? Keen-eyed social media users have zoomed in on the steaks and realised they haven't got grill marks on them at all. Doesn't look like they've been cooked on a barbie and the barbie appears not to be on. Aha, keen-eyed social media users so the photo was fake, and naturally Dan went straight to denial. Rubbish claims he put fake meat on his barbecue. Yes, we're tackling the big issues today. You sure are, Tom. And how do we know that Dan rubbished the fake barbecue? Because the press back pushed for answers. Well, the, the, the guest, the guest, the guest was on. The guest was on. Um, searing a steak before you put it on the barbecue is not the most novel thing ever. So, case closed, right? Not on Sky, where it was time for a hot take panel discussion about the fake steak allegation. Blimey, the political year can't end soon enough. Same can be said of the US, where this year has seen some really crazy things said about vaccines, COVID and Dr Anthony Fauci. But what I'm about to show you from Lara Logan of Fox News really does take the cake. What you see on Dr Fauci, this is what people say to me, that he doesn't represent science to them. He represents Joseph Mengele, Dr Joseph Mengele, uh, the, doc, the Nazi doctor who did experiments on Jews during the Second World War and in the concentration camps. Wow. Just wow. Comparing masks and vaccinations to a Nazi who carried out inhumane medical experiments on prisoners of the Holocaust is... <laughs> Shameful and absurd. And even worse, her Fox News colleagues did not even flinch. But thankfully, the Auschwitz Memorial took to Twitter to condemn her comments and tell its 1.1 million followers, exploiting the tragedy of people who became victims of criminal pseudo-medical experiments in Auschwitz in a debate about vaccines, pandemic, and people who fight for saving human lives is shameful. And for good measure, it added, it is disrespectful to victims and a sad symptom of moral and intellectual decline. And sadly, a decline with no end in sight. And we'll be back with Media Watch, 9.30 Monday night on the ABC, also iViews and social media. Our last hurrah for the year. So, don't miss it. <laughs> <laughs>